Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the geothermal plant. Geothermal plant means especially we can harness energy from the hot rocks present inside the earth and that energy is called as the geothermal energy. So there are three types of geothermal plants namely dry steam plant, second one is flash geothermal plant, third one is binary geothermal plant. So moving to the dry steam plant especially here for the rotation of the turbine always the steam which is present inside the earth will be moved on to the surface of the earth and that is directly used to drive the turbine. Coming to the flash geothermal plant, especially in this plant always the high pressure water will be pulled on to the earth and it is transformed to the coal low pressure water and this water will rotate the turbine and coming to the binary geothermal plant here always the hot water is passed by a secondary fluid which is having much lower boiling point than that of the water especially they will use ammonia and it is having boiling point around minus 34 degrees centigrade. So whenever if we use the vapors of the ammonia, it will rotate the turbine more number of times with the result more and more electricity will be produced. Let us see the designing of binary geothermal plant. especially. The geothermal energy can be harnessed from the hot rocks present inside the earth because of the radioactive substances. In a similar way, the geothermal energy can be harnessed from the ocean surface water or from the ocean thermal energy. So, at any way, the geothermal energy can be harnessed from the hot rocks or from the ocean surface or from the ocean thermal energy and it is always connected to the hot water and this hot water is connected to the heat exchanger here in the heat exchanger secondary fluid will be present that means liquid ammonia will be present it is the hot water which is obtained from the ground and it is connected to the heat exchanger that means in the second pipe always liquid ammonia will be pumped so with the result what happens the energy transfer takes place from the hot water to the liquid ammonia and this liquid ammonia will get vaporized so at very high kinetic energy the vapors of the liquid ammonia will rotate the turbine and thereby the turbine is connected to the generator and finally electricity will be produced this water will be condensed again pumped into the heat exchanger this is the mechanism of working of binary geothermal plant coming to the advantages of geothermal plant the maintenance is low at the same time this geothermal plant is safe and reliable and no large areas are required but coming to the disadvantages here the geothermal plant location is very specific since the hot rocks are specified to a specific location risk of earthquakes is very high and this capital investment is very high this plant is expensive if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day